Good morning, everybody. I hope that this video finds you all healthy and safe. Uh, we'll start this morning with the core practice. Find a comfortable spot to sit, close your eyes, and take deep breaths. Great. So today, um, I guess I'm grateful for the beautiful weekend that we had a couple days ago. We had such nice weather and I was able to go out and enjoy it and take a walk and it was warm and I'm grateful that we had that weather compared to the stuff we're having right now. So um, we're going to start chapter 10 today. It's called the Valentine Box. Early in February, the weather changed to wind and snow. Mrs. Pitt managed to shovel a path on the sidewalk in front of her house. Then schools were closed for almost a week. Ramona and Daisy were too busy coasting on the 37th Street Hill on Mr. Quimby's old sled, a real antique, Beezus called it, to think about anything that had happened at school. That was why Ramona was surprised when school reopened and great envelopes of class pictures were handed out. Uh-oh. Remember what happened with her picture? Feeling sure that Bill had snapped her picture a second before she made a face, she opened her envelope expecting to see herself cute and perky, maybe a little bit pretty. But no, she wasn't cute. She wasn't perky or the least bit pretty. She was a plain, ordinary girl making an ugly face. Ashamed, she shoved her envelope into her book bag. Unfortunately, everyone in the class had, in addition to a big picture and several smaller pictures, a sheet of pictures of each member shown slightly larger than a postage stamp. Everyone pointed to Ramona's picture and snickered. Susan said much too nicely, It's too bad about your picture, Ramona. Daisy, who was always kind, said, Don't worry about it, Ramona. We all know you really don't look like that. Yard Ape was silent. Ramona was suddenly cross with him for not paying attention to her, not even on the bus. It wasn't her fault Mrs. Meacham confiscated his note and embarrassed him in front of the class. Ramona tossed her hair to show her class she didn't care what they thought. When she returned home that day, she hid her picture and hoped her family would never find them. This lasted for about a week, until one evening at dinner Mrs. Quimby asked. Ramona, what happened to your school pictures? Howie's grandmother says he has his. There were no secrets in this neighborhood. Ramona took a big bite of potato. She wasn't supposed to talk with her mouth full. You don't like your picture, guessed Beezus. Ramona chewed her potato more than potato needed to be chewed. Come on, Ramona, said her father. We love you no matter how you look. Go get them. Ramona swallowed sighed and fetched the gray envelope, which she thrust at her father. He pulled out the individual pictures and passed them around to the family, who, as Ramona expected, laughed. She put on her you-hurt-my-feelings expression and said, You're being horrid to me! There she is holding the picture and... There's her dad and mom and Bees is laughing. I think this is a great picture, Mr. Quimby smiled at his middle daughter. It really captures the real Ramona. It does not, contradicted Ramona. Your Grandpa Day is going to love this, said Mrs. Quimby, and so will your Aunt B. Mom, that's mean. That picture is awful. I hate it. Ramona wondered if this was all worth a tantrum and decided it wasn't. Maybe she was outgrowing tantrums. Instead, she explained about Roberta and the peas. She concluded with, if Roberta had eaten her peas, I would have had a nice picture, 
At least I don't spit on the floor like Roberta. Mrs. Quimby reached over and patted Ramona's hand. We all know you are nicer than your picture, she said. Except sometimes, said Beezus. Ramona ignored her sister. All the kids at school except Daisy laughed at me, she went on. And now our relatives will too. She was beginning to run out of reasons to feel sorry for herself. Beezus spoke up. What difference does it make? When we take our family picture for our next Christmas card, you can smile twice as hard to make up for your school picture. This led to a discussion of how the family should pose for their Christmas card picture, even though Christmas was months away. After that, no more was said about Ramona's picture. At school, everyone seemed to have forgotten it, too. Perhaps because Mrs. Meacham brought out a box decorated with hearts that Ramona could see had been used in the many classes Mrs. Meacham had taught in years past. Mrs. Meacham made a little speech about not hurting anyone's feelings. Everyone must give a valentine to everyone else in the class. Ramona had heard this speech from previous teachers and knew the problem could be solved by buying kits that held enough valentines for an entire class. Silly valentines with words such as, Be my valentine with a picture of a bee, or I choo choose you for my valentine with a bear driving a train. For special friends, some people might include a candy heart with Be My Valentine or I Love You printed on it. For extra special friends, fourth graders, usually girls, made Valentine's decorated with heart stickers and paper lace. This was the part of Valentine's Day Ramona liked best. And we'll stop there. We'll find out tomorrow how it goes with her Valentine box. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you back here tomorrow.